What's going on, everybody? It's Antonio from Akari Press. We're on the Indiegogo. $63,079. Santana Baby Triple Cover Pack is, of course, still ongoing. If you want it, head on over to Indiegogo or just type in AkariPress.com. It'll take you right there. Link, of course, is in the description. All right, so you know haters are going to hate. So I got this off of one angry gamer. Dragon Ball Super voice actors pull out. Of Kamea Khan after Vic McNona gets reinvited. Alright, so uh, various voice actors involved in the anime scene and specifically Funimation's Dragon Ball Super movie have pulled out of the Kamea Khan after the convention organizers reinvited voice actor Vic McNona to the event on March 22nd of 2019. The first to pull out was Monica Rial, the voice actress of Bulma in Dragon Ball. This happened shortly after Kamea Khan made the announcement on March 22nd. Damon Mills, the voice actor of Frieza in uh, Dragon Ball Super, also pulled out, posting a tweet on March 24th, claiming that he had pulled out after giving it a lot of uh, yeah after giving a lot of thought following Kamea Khan reinviting McNona following the revelation that a lot of the allegations and accusations against McNona either held no weight or were fabricated. Hmm. All right. And here's the tweet. I am profoundly sorry and regret to say that I have withdrawn my upcoming appearance at Kamea Khan. This has come after a great deal of thought and ultimately comes down to following what I feel is right. Please understand we're working on a way to make this up to fans. Also on March 24th, Jason Douglas, the voice actor for Beerus in Dragon Ball Super, also pulled out of the event, apologized to the fans. Okay, so they, they're just going through like an NPC role right now. It's like everybody's doing the same thing, even though a lot of these people realize, because Vic's not in jail. <laughs> I was like, okay, so Jason Douglas, there goes Josh Grell. Uh, let me see. And let me see, on March 23rd, the moderator for Reddit's Dragon Ball Z and the Kanzinshu Wiki administrator, <laughs> Terry, oh Lord, don't get me pronouncing this stuff, also canceled his panel in light of Mick, Vic McNona being re-invited to Kamea Khan. Here's Therese, I truly regret to announce that my Kamea Khan panel is canceled. I have no illusions about how many fans were looking forward to my little nerd panel. But as I am not under contract, I am obligated to make a stand against the re-invitation of a known con creep at such a late day. Boy, I hope he can sue all these people, man. I, I really, and I mean that because he's not in handcuffs right now. He just, there was people accusing him of something. So unless I see some actual charges you can't, I mean, people just get online and they just say all kind of wild stuff, man. It's ridiculous. But, um, okay, Therese also had an extremely long diatribe rolled out against McNona. The relevant section is quoted below, which reads, okay, let me, man, that's long. There's a conventions with a sensible harassment policy would never invite a guest with a well-documented history of sexual harassment at conventions in the first place. Not in 2018 when Vic's stories were already well known and especially not in 2019, no matter how important popular he is. I don't want to hear excuses about what this is or that uh, VA said to convince the con to kick Vic. They kicked him and that was their responsibility at the time they did it. The guests are not convention employees, and it's not their job to do due diligence on behalf of the convention. And whatever you think about Vic's guilt or innocence, we should all be able to agree that the convention had a responsibility to be honest with their guests and volunteers and attendees about what they were signing up for. Aside from safety concerns, many have uh, many now have ethical. Okay, what safety concerns are they? Because I have not heard of him harming anyone i i've heard about hugs and kisses and let me be sweet to you <laughs> God. 
Let me see. As someone who has been going to Jordan Con for a decade, I've always wished for niche Dragon Ball Con because I know how niche cons can work well. But this isn't how you do it. And for people who like like dubbed anime, Vic is a foul heel to die on. There's a reason none of his peers defend him. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this is it. As you can see, there were, there are a couple of the notable voice actors that decided, hey, I, I'm not down with this. Uh, Y'all should have kept him off the guest list. And, uh, hmm. Well... Let's talk about it, folks. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up. And if you guys want to reach out to me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and right here on this YouTube channel everywhere is at Akari Press. And if you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you directly to my Indiegogo campaign for my comic book series brand with the phenomenal Kane and White. We're on Teespring. We're on Amazon.com. The links to those are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm out.